Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today I am going to be talking to you about what to do when you get a needle, used needle injury. Okay, so if you get injured by a used needle, um, immediately you want to wash off the site. Immediately you want to go find some water. Find, I even say find some soap, right? Wash off that site. Get that, Get just, just clean off the site. Get it as clean as you can. And then next, you want to report it to your employer. That is a workplace injury. That's considered a workplace injury. You want to get that reported to your employer ASAP. Once you get that reported to your employer, they will send you either to occupational health or some kind of urgent care. For me, it actually just happened to me today, guys. So for me, they sent me to an urgent care. Um, and of course, they cover it. They pay for it. You should not be paying for that out of your pocket at all. Okay. That was a workplace injury. Um, when you go to urgent, urgent care or occupational health, what they're, they're going to ask you questions, right? So how did it happen? Um, what were you doing when it happened? Who was the patient you were interacting with? Basically, they want to know what's going on. Um, also, they will, um, yeah, also they will run some tests. They're going to draw some labs on you. They're going to run HIV tests. They're going to run hepatitis C and hepatitis B tests, even if you're immunized, right? So I have immunity to hepatitis um, B. They're still going to run those tests on you. And then there's going to be series of more tests. So I have to come back in... I think you said in you know a week or two weeks or whatever for another um, another test of Hep B and Hep C. So there's a series of tests. It goes on for three months, guys. I was told three to six months, depending on my result. So needle stick injury, guys, it is serious. Okay, people have different viruses that are in their system. You don't know. Don't assume just because the patient looks nice or, you know, they look so friendly. You don't know what's going on in their blood work, okay? So be safe out there. Be very careful. Um, so that is pretty much it. When you get a needle stick injury, one, right away, clean off the site, wash it off, okay? Um, two, report it right away and document, right? Report it right away and document it right away. Um, your employer is going to send you somewhere to get your labs drawn, to get blood drawn, for tests to be run. Um, and the test that will be ran is, you know, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV tests. They want to make sure that none of those are in your system. Um, I think they said HIV takes a little bit, a, a while to show up, but hep, I think hep C is the one that shows up quicker. Um, so they're going to run. So that's why they're doing a series, you know, it's going to go for months because they want to make sure they're catching um, hep, um, hep B, HIV, any of those, if they're in your system at all. Yeah, guys. So just be safe out there. Um, after that, just make sure you, like I said, document, um, document, you know, make sure your story is straight. Don't come up with one thing or another thing. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. I've been doing this for a while and I've never, this is my first, um, needle stick injury. Never, like never happened to me. It has nothing to do with you not being, um, prudent or safe or whatever it may be it happens right it happens but just make sure you take the appropriate steps okay I hope this was helpful to you guys um, um, for those of you who are curious guys I literally yeah so it was during you know um, for those of you who insert pics it's when you're sliding the cap so on the needle you know after you take it out you get your wire you put your introducer catheter all that stuff um, when you, when I, when you're trying to activate, when I was trying to activate the safety lock on the needle itself, for some reason, my hand just slid past the safety lock. I don't know what was going on. And the needle just pierced right through the gloves into my finger. Um, and it was a really hard case. It was one of those pick lines that I don't know why almost took me two hours. I could not thread that line for anything. I don't know what was going on <laughs> with her vessel. It was just... I was getting very frustrated. Um, so yeah, that's another lesson. Don't get frustrated. Be patient. <laughs> and yeah, be patient when you're doing things because you don't want something that's going to cost you in the long run, right? So yeah, so that is all. I just wanted to pop in and talk about um, what to do when you get a needle injury, okay? When you get, yeah, so needle injury at work or wherever you're at, just make sure you are 
documenting, washing the site off, getting the proper tests, um, getting the proper tests done. They will ask you about Tdap as well. Um, if you don't have Tdap, most likely they will give you the Tdap vaccination, um, as well as some other vaccination, hepatitis, the, um, hepatitis B. They're going to check your levels, make sure you are, you know, you have immunity for that as well. Okay. Hope this answered your questions, guys. Feel free. Any uh, questions or comment you have, drop it down below. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Be blessed. Bye. Love you.